something about the suits at weightlifting meets, which I call them the judges, the jury. Yeah, yeah. That just pisses me the fuck off. Yeah. Straight up, they like you don't know that it's a coin flip. It's a roll of the dice. You don't know what they're thinking. You don't. We have no idea what they're gonna call, what they're gonna overturn. You know, I wouldn't have been surprised if they were just like, nope, screw this guy. Yeah. We're not gonna give him the lift. Yeah. I mean, they just, it was a late oh. down signal, right? So then they oh. reviewed it. I didn't even know they could overturn something like that. No one knows any, you know, it's like. Well, actually we- there are a few things that they did where, you know, I work with Dan and he's a, you know, national referee and he knows everything. And he, yeah. a few times he was like, no, they can't do that. They can't actually, like people, countries are throwing in challenge cards for, things that you can't throw a challenge card in for yeah. and the jury didn't yeah. know and they were just like reviewing videos it's like no that's, yeah that's not allowed no, the, see but the, when see, you Olympics, make a rule allowed. but see but when you make a rule so subjective when you are we make, getting to this now or wait, yeah, wait are we, well, i'm mean, wondering are we doing I, I don't know we, we could do it now and then but, we can, I've yes, loads yes, things to talk about yes this. i've loads okay, of things i want to say about this let's do it. like yeah, let's do it. like just it's so goddamn frustrating it really, really is. I don't see the point. At this point, I don't see the point in any of it. If you press out the lift, if you make the lift and stand with it over your head mm-hmm. at the Olympics, why are we why, I why are we disputing that? I agree. Like, you know, just even talking about some of the lists we've looked at today, Jordan De La Cruz, yeah, in my opinion, you know, she made 89. She snatched 89. She was yeah. called for a press out. She's the young pressed out a 192 jerk in the bottom of the squat. If anything, they should give him extra points for that. That's more <laughs> remarkable. You know what I mean? Like, there have been so yeah. many lifts that we've seen this Olympics that I cannot believe, like in any other competition I've seen, that's a, that's a good lift. And I'm really worried for the muscle-bound, heavier male lifters who yes. can't oh, lock man. out like they expect you to. At, yeah. Like, um, you know, Wes Kitt, we were talking about earlier, amazing lifter, but like those elbows aren't loyal. You know, no. in the same way, you know, those judges are going to be a little bit savage. And there are a few lifters like that where I'm looking at them thinking, that's just how you lift. And that should be okay. But these judges are going to be harsh on you. But, oh, but my there God. is a difference. It's actually oh, the dumbest thing ever. There Go is ahead. a difference between like even an elbow wobble and a press out. Like there's an elbow wobble, like it's a lack, lack of instability. Right, right. But for in my book, if we're talking like something so ambiguous as pressing out, it's not a press out. But they were calling elbow wobbles like, did you see the Kazakhstan lifter Igor? Igor's son is it? Yeah, they were definitely picking on him without a doubt because yeah. other lifters in that class were also doing the exact same thing as him, and mm-hmm. he kept getting red lighter for it. And he's where yeah. his lifting couldn't be better. Yeah, but the the argument for a press out rule is that it's preventing injury from lifters, and it makes mm-hmm. the sport more aesthetic. Which, mm-hmm. for one, if if you've ever listened to your weight in your life, you can't actively press out a lift. No one's no. ever gone. I know this jerk is going to be ropey, but I'm going to press out this 200 kilos and make it. Yeah. That's not a thing. If anyone who's yeah. ever lived in their life knows, you can't press out on purpose. It happens yeah. by accident. It's not something you want to happen. Yeah. So You're not going to lift more from it accidentally. Yeah. And it was there because, you know, they had to separate the clean and press from the clean and jerk. And that was just a good way to do it through the rules. Also, I'm yeah. just looking at Zach and he's about to boil over. But... <laughs> But it, as well, there's an argument that it injures women more. It makes it worse for women. Could you see, like, you'll see a lot of the women have huge amounts of like hyperextension in the in their elbows and their jerk, you know. Yeah, so yeah. slamming weights into maximum beyond terminal mm-hmm. extension is only going to hurt women. It's only going yeah. to make it worse, you know. Like yeah. it's just it's the dumbest rule, and it's confusing. People are watching; they're like, "What the fuck is going on?" Yeah, it is confusing to to viewers. I really wonder if, like, if we could change it. No, because it's weightlifting. Why would they change? They can't even stop can like a Congress. I think they no, in it. normal sports, in normal sports, it would, but it won't change in weightlifting. It's not I mean, going to. So they're going to change. They're having a new vote on the on the Congress, whatever you call them, the board. You know, oh they're going to change at some point after the Olympics, I imagine. And at that point, I think that's where a petition, some sort of movement, to be like, look, oh my if you want to grow the sport, you have to. You get guys, rid of we this. can. I swear to God, us three can make this shit happen. Yeah, I've never been more passionate about board. something in my life. <laughs> I'm it's, not kidding you. This is my this is my calling is <laughs> bitching about press outs. It's my the dumbest thing. thing. Yeah. It adds nothing. I, I don't I started I've never using heard. the hashtag kick out the press out. And I think that should be the official hashtag for it. Kick out the press out. out. I'm down. Out. I'm in. Let's do it. Uh, Seb, when you said that the other day and you were like, I'm worried about the heavier lifters, I am actually you got me thinking as well. There's a lot of lifters there who I'm like, oh shit. But I think I, here's Simon. The thing. 
Simon Martirosian, it, like yes, Simon yes, is fun. Absolutely, he catches a snatch. Yep. like this. But he does Man. that. Like a, even if it's shoulders, it looks like his elbows. Like, I mean, he, but here's the thing: it doesn't matter. It it ma- what matters is who you are, where you're from, what you've mm-hmm. made before. You know, the the judges at the time they just sit there, and it's what type of characteristic does the judge have today? What type of mindset does the judge have today? Because that's going to determine ultimately whether you make or miss the lift. Mm-hmm. I have actually, one of my friends has was a judge and overheard other judges say, if it doesn't really look good, I don't think they deserve to make the lift. That's ridiculous. That's at a national meet. These are national referees, right? Yeah. They will, and, and when, when Owen says, uh, you know, yeah, they were picking on him. No, like they literally they fucking do yeah. pick on people. That's what they do. They go, oh, that guy has some weird looking going on i don't know he better get his shit together next lift or else you know yeah. you're not allowed to do that you're supposed to be a clean slate right you know it doesn't matter what the person who they are what they are whatever you watch their fucking elbow but even then a flicker of the elbow is that what we're really worried about i know, I know. yeah like the the elbow touch makes perfect sense that's without yeah. a doubt that should be a rule i totally agree that you like that is dangerous and you don't want any situation you want to encourage people to actively stay very far away from that that's a mm-hmm. great rule i'm that doesn't cause any issue of competition the presser rule just makes things far worse you know it's you just know, slow how often did it slow down the competition oh, how yeah, often I mean, were you like oh my god the well, at the moment the, the number of like challenge cards that go i mean i like challenge cards i think it's kind of fun but the number that are going in at the moment because of the extent to which the jury are just, or the, yeah, the judges are given red lights because of very slight elbow wobbles it is, abs- I mean, it's slowing down the competition. It's already a slow sport to watch. If you don't love the sport, watching the weightlifting yeah. competition isn't that fun. And so if you're new to the sport and then there's that as well, it's like, what is happening? It's awful. Yeah. Do, you, do you think they came into the competition being like, this is the Olympics and we're going to have no press outs? I think that's in? probably what they did because they're so harsh. I mean, and they're also doing what they do in team sports where they judge things differently depending on where in the competition there is. Because there was this one lifter and on his third attempt, he'd been called for press out loads. On his third attempt, final lift of the competition, he was going to bomb. He made a jerk that was way more of a press out than anything else. And they just gave it to him because they were like, well, yeah. he's not going to medal. And it's going to save him from bombing. And it's like when referees judge a fourth quarter differently because it's fourth quarter. It's like, there's just a different standard, you know, and they presumably will then do that on who the athlete is, you know, when the lift counts and when it doesn't. And that's going to be a problem for, for the judges as well as the athletes at some point. So there's a, in, in, when I played basketball and when I played football, it was like, there were some refs that made yeah. the game about themselves. Oh yeah. You know? They wanted to be a part of it. So they're yeah. calling everything. And they, it's like, you know, I feel like we've created this position where it's like we have judges and they determine the lift if it's made or not. By the way, there is a judge's call every single lift. So we think, think about that. There is nothing more important than a judge because they are every day, every lift they are asked, is that a made lift or a missed lift? They determine everything. So they are just as involved in the competition as the lifter themselves. It's a, it's an incredibly, you know, self-serving thing. If someone in the wrong mindset gets into it, right? Like at a certain, ex- to a certain extent, you're going to see people who are like, uh, you know, they, they, they do want to make it about themselves. It's a position that we can get rid of. We can get mm. rid of it. Think about like the, Here's a great one to think about the, the uh, long jump or uh, shot put discus. Okay. There is a foot fault and that's it. Mm. That's it. That's all that matters. If you step on the, I think it's, is it past the board? You're not allowed to touch the board. In, yeah. If you get, if your foot goes on the plaster, the white plaster, then so it's, it's, yeah, you can't touch it at all. That's it. It's the only thing that matters. Yeah. No, there's no judgment on whether your knee extends the wrong way. Right. There's no there's no judgment on body mechanics. OK, same thing in the shot put. Don't step out of the ring. Hammer, same thing. Mm-hmm. Like we can make our lift that simple. We don't need a fucking judge. Maybe one judge to see. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I or think the, the down, down signal. Yeah, is, that's it. Yeah, definitely. That's what you need. And, one and judge. the bar needs to come down in a proper way for safety reasons. One judge. That's it. Yeah. One judge for a, a finished lift, you know. 
that's it all you need like you just need one judge to center to say the lift is finished you can drop the bar that's all you need you don't need three judges and why is there six people on the jury or whatever like why why is there that many people that's what i'm saying you, we, it's yeah, just what? a bunch of old people that just don't have anything to do with this I, it's yeah, and also the, the suits, problem with bro, it's you know with something like uh, you know football recently, I say recently, it's been a few years now. They adopted like goal line technology, so like you can they can go back and they can use that, and there's an objective thing of yeah that went in, but yeah. in this it's just people subjectively go and that's a no left, and then people go wait are you sure? And yeah, they just yeah, watch yeah. about to go yeah I reckon it's still a no left. Yeah, like, yeah, that's it. The yeah. replay doesn't give you the objective <clears throat> look at whether it is or isn't. I mean, yeah, think about get- it. We're we're looking at biomechanics, bro. Yeah. There's something With objective. The naked eye. Yeah, <laughs> I so know. Ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Oh. Yeah. But it's it, it to be honest with you, it wasn't that big a deal up until this Olympics. And I feel like so far it's really annoyed me in certain competitions where yeah. like for Lewis Mosquera, that's my probably my biggest one where they didn't give the down signal and yeah. he got the challenge here. I was so relieved that he'd gotten that lift he deserved because that could have literally cost him his Olympics, you know, silver yeah. medal. Like the a defining moment of his career, his second Olympic medal, you know, so it shouldn't be that ambiguous, you know. It should be up to the lifter as much as possible. Uh, it really bothered me about the Kazakh lifter as well because they were definitely picking on him. It was really weird, like it was so obvious that yeah, because he's he's such a fast lifter. He's similar to Lewis Mosquera in his lifts that you're like, how it's the inconsistency is probably the biggest thing. So mm-hmm. even if they were as like surgically harsh on every single lift across every single session, you'd be kind of like, okay, at least it's consistent, it's fair. But it's not consistent. It's the biggest issue, and you can't be consistently harsh in some ways because yeah. like Masanori Miyamoto was born such that his elbows will hyperextend. What like, a man. Yeah, like, but I can't. Yeah. And so I, I there's always going to be a flicker. If you keep zooming in and zooming in and slow-mo and slow-mo, eventually you're going to see a flicker. So oh. like if we can't be that objective, it's almost like you have to just get rid of it. And, and like you said, we're not going to see a great ponderance of press outs. Because people aren't going to be like, oh, now I can train for the press out, so I'll be able to press out now. It's like they're still going to try not to because the best way to lift a heavy weight is on a locked elbow. Yeah. It just means that you don't get in a situation where you go, I think that guy should have won, but they called a press out. It's like, no, you know, they held it above their head for two two seconds, so it's a good lift. 